Super band losses, one draw. Cool. Good luck. He, you know what Frankie does here. Uh, Trainers and handlers in the corner. There goes as Nacho Barris. Wait. Starting out much like our first. Banky. And particularly after a ninth round. Good body shot, Zaragoza. To Albert Davila for the NABF title. Bantamweight division on July. Right. That goes back a ways. Zaragoza. Frankie, in this win the title, you'll be able to make a few bucks and buy a, and here he is, and this fight would probably be. Zarek four more times, and then try for the featherweight crowd. He's very good inside, short punches, super. He usually doesn't initiate the action. He waits for Duarte or any opponent to do it. There goes his fights, numbering as a pro than uh, others. Well, that, and they win them easier. That that you know that can happen to a fight. Get up in that you know that third range. The body does not recover as. Oh, that's a solid left hand scored on the jaw of Frankie Duarte. Oh. Seem to get on track. He's uh, he's running into punches. Oh. This fight is very young, folks. Duarte. Well, the only thing about Frankie, he can take a tremendous punch, and Zaragoza is not a known combination. It's early rounds for Frankie, his punches. There goes and do very, very gentlemen in their character. And in February of 80, goes against Carlos Zarate. Zarate was his championship, and he did it with a 10th round TKO. And the cheeks of Duarte looks like he's had Rouge put on, but he didn't. He got hit with some good shots. Yeah. Boy, he's just walking into punches. It seems to be a little out of range. Maybe it's just only five fights in the last 68 inch reach. He definitely does. And what he has to do is he's got to start throwing combinations because uh, he's throwing throw one, leaning in, throwing one punch at a time, two, three, four punches, combinations. Paul Banky fought Zaragoza in the fight. A young prospect. Uh, the last couple of rounds and lost the fight. But James Jenkin, the third man in the ring, veteran doing WBC matches. Is and love and partly on the cheek. Zaragoza just uh, now taking a lot of liberties with his punches. Frankie is going to. Well, not only that, he's going to have to prove that he's walking into punches. Starting to get red. Now, nose. Frankie Duarte is cut. On the nose, On isn't the it? bridge of the nose, yeah. Out of Mexico, he is here. And it's true, they've got officials from all over the country doing the judging. But he knows when you're with a punch right through the gloves. And there it is. All right, we're in round number four now. And so far, full Zaragoza against the, the wonderful guy, Frankie Duarte. Ooh. He staggers Duarte. Duarte not pressure on us. He can get close enough to start landing some punches, and that's what he's going to have to do. Upper Caragosa. There's a Marty. Frankie has scored 33 knockouts in his 45 pro victories. Hasn't. Oh, he, he takes. Gets a very crafty veteran. Uh, knows all the angles, and that's he's using all the angles. Frankie's one of the most popular fighters ever to fight here. Carlos Palomino, working with us here tonight, is one of the most popular. Art Eric, a couple. They're calling for Frankie. Checky, Frankie, and he. Nicola Ascano, one of the judges. He's from Venezuela. Frankie, apparently realizing how much trouble he's in, is starting to try to pour it on. Steve veteran. Francisco Manzano of Tommy, Tommy Hara of Hawaii the third.
is a beating that Frankie's taking now, absorbing. Trying to call on the instincts that brought him so much fame and glory and money at one time for a two-year period. He's bleeding in WBC Super Bantamweight. Frankie has tried tonight, has been countered masterfully by Zaragoza. Counter punching, stepping back and swinging away like old card in each round, hasn't he? Yes, yes, he has. I mean, he's he's just <laughs> making Frankie miss and then counters right back behind uh, Frankie's punches. And he's Zaragoza oh. got a left cross right on the jaw of Duarte and a right hand alongside the ear. Come, Duarte, that's the question. Who are the fight? Yeah, they did, and it, and it looks like maybe it has. You know, Frank, but you just see the openings, so and you can't get the punches off. Again, the chant, Frankie. And as the chant comes, so do the punches. A barrage, an avalanche of punches. Out. I quit on my 30th birthday. Did you? That day? <laughs> no, I didn't. <laughs> For a beautiful man, you are something. Oh, Frankie's starting to make. He's going to have to stay close and throw it and just try to throw as many punches as he can. I think at this stage, before the fight, uh, wanted him at least to make a great show. And I'm going to be very honest with you. Perhaps you'll disagree with me, Carlos. The face from all the shots he's taken. No, no, it's not. The second, third yeah. round, like, his face was going to start. They're doing a great job in the quarter with the ice. Are starting to hold a little bit in there. Right? What's that a sign of? It's a sign of maybe he's uh, starting to tire a little bit. You know, he's Got throwing a punch, throwing a lot, a lot of punches. And, that, and that's the danger with Frankie Duarte. If you don't knock him out, he's going to be right out. Frankie's having his best round of the fight. You see, Saragosa's not moving as much. He's now standing still in front of. Zaragoza is 31 years old. Oh, that's a chopping left hand that startled Duarte, to say the least. Oh, he landed his own right hand. Oh, oh, a great right hand. That time snapped the head of Zaragoza. And a good right hand score. Frankie walked into a couple. And two more. The end of the round, right one landed another right hand. Coming forward. 7 3. Has Zaragoza thrown a shutout so far? Well, no, I have. Yeah. He worked hard for it. The range is starting to land the right hand a little bit now. You know that? Some, uh, we talk about round fight. You go six rounds before you start. A little much. Yeah, that's, that's giving a little bit too little, too much of an edge. The long hill to climb when you do that. Dr. James Jen Kim. Three words. Frankie's got to do is when he gets inside, he's got to be able to he's got to be able to score a little bit more. I mean, basically, about the only place he's going to do any kind of damage is there. Now he got to land. Found the uh, eyes of Duarte. 
Duarte applying rope side pressure. Right when Dr. Jensen accidentally or otherwise. Well, Frank is trying to land. He's just taking a lot of punishment. They took two more shots at him. Round seven winding down here at the. Even the referee, Dr. James, he's had to do a lot of separating. 12 rounder, and we're fighting for the WBC Super Bantamweight belt in green. Party was ranked number two. Uh -huh. Goza is confident that he can take any punch that Frankie might throw. I think he is, but you know what, what Frank is doing, he's probably trying to land the right hand with his left hand. He should be trying to land the left hook, because he's through it. He Good threw point. it to the body. Good point. Oh. Frankie uh, is Mondo Ramos. Captured the imagination of the boxing world here in Southern California for many, many years. Well, they love him. They like the style. He's always in. The, he's always here to give a good fight. So closely, just were hoping that he could win the fight. If he couldn't do that, they were hoping he could make a great, great shot at the title and bowing out of his ring career. And most of all, they were hoping in case he lost, he would not be. They get treatment. It's amazing how many punches Zaragoza is landing through the punches, uh, and he doesn't waste anything. It's, oh. He had a battle plan, and he's executing it. Good idea of how the referee is. Oh, yes. Uh, you know, he's seen him take a lot of punches, a lot of punishment and, and he, for the fighter. He really knows how to lock the arms of the opponent up. Frankie received sight punching of Zaragoza on the counterattack. is so beautiful to watch unless you're on the other end of it. He's a craftsman, you know it. Oh, yes, he is. He He's didn't look a... this good against the banky, I'll tell you. Right in. Uh -huh. A counter puncher will uh, use the angles, and he's doing all that tonight. Most of them. So he's, I guess he figures, he figures that it's such an easy target, though. See, that was incident. I'll tell you one thing. Oh, he's just standing Duarte there. Duarte is really taking some shots on lots of them. How many can he take? <laughs> We're in round nine of our 12-rounder, if it goes that far. The only thing he knows how to do, and that's go forward, throw punches. Trying to get that one fortunate punch. I was exactly. going to say lucky, but up. My gosh, look at that. Oh. Shot after shot after shot of Frankie fighting back for so many years. That's oh, not to God. take anything away from Saragossa, but it's just a damaging speed. Always will be. Tremendous, tremendous heart. He's here to win this. Camino from the Great Western Forum, live on Prime Ticket Television. We're in round 10 of a 12-rounder for the champion. Very intent on keeping it, without any question. They told Frank in the corner to keep working, and, you know, and that, uh, you know by the 12th round, he'll, uh, he won this by knockout. Actually, against Banky recently, they were the biggest round. Our next fight card, you'll enjoy it if you're not here in person at the Great Western Forum on Prime Ticket Television. Nick in the nose, but I don't count that. He sure it. has, yeah. That have been it's furious. At but he's still there, waiting away. Sure is. Trying to leave an impression. And he there goes his work very, very hard, and he will be very, very tired. He's expended lots of energy. 
Let's see now. We got a timeout. Uh, oh, at the end of the fight, it was still Zaragoza landing the majority of the punches. Even with the sore hands, he was doing outstanding damage. And the referee, Dr. James Jenkin, made a marvelous stop of the fight. And Zaragoza, who had to know that.